Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. So today I want to talk to you about a few things. There's a few topics in this video that have a lot to do with this energy we're in. Now we are firmly in this energy and things are, things are still moving forward, but it's a little bit like that red light, green light game. Red light, green light, green light, go move forward. Red light, stop. This has happened a couple of times over the past couple of years. But there was a reason for it. And I'm going to talk to you about how it's been this week. There's been a lot of tension. There's a lot of family tension breaking up. There's other kinds of tension breaking up. This is not the first time tension is breaking up. But for a lot of people, this is the breaking point. This is not intended to break you though. This is intended for you to pay attention for some of the things you need to address during these retrogrades with restructuring your life or proper structure of your life and the structure of your body. So that's the most important thing you have to pay attention to. So when it comes to this, I hope that you have your Flamey Me Twin Flame Chocolate Supply ready. That's just a joke. Flamey Me has the best chocolates for Twin Flame Tension. Okay, so what have I been noticing? Well, through a lot of my sessions, I've been having a lot of people with origins from India or actually from India either it's in your nationality or it is where you're from. And there's a lot of news about that because that has to do with some of the closure that is happening. So we are still in closure energy, putting the closure on the past. It's going to waver between closing out your ancestry, closing out your biology, closing out patterns of relationship. What can some of that be? So I've been noticing there's a lot shaking up within certain cultures. And on my walk, as you know that I get cards as I walk, look what I found. That's the Taj Mahal. Now, it's a little bit faded because it was um, raining and it got wet. And in the back it says, Dearest Cicely, you should see the palace at night against the sunset, quite breathtaking. Tour going well, the odd upset stomach, but bearing up, weather is scorching. Am as brown as a berry. Hope you're enjoying Barton's and getting some rest. No disturbances or intrusions, I hope. By train to Kerala next. See you at Christmas, my dear. Yours, Edith, the East India Postcard Company. Now, this is a little bit of a blast from the past because what are the reference here? Colonization, maybe invasions, incursions, and mixed ancestry, and debt is indicative of what some of the things are that people are healing from. I like to use the word healing, even though it includes purging and clearing and closure. You also upgrade and get rid of it. With it, you get rid of some of these patterns of the past. So what are some of these patterns? Well, I have a little diorama here that I'd like to bring you a little closer to view. We have here someone who is beyond all reason still looking at someone who is disinterested in them and is in the process of walking away and moving away. Meanwhile, the aspect of her true love is trying valiantly to reach her and get through. Okay, and this, this can be swapped. This could be a man here with a feminine or it could be two men we can do that also 
being held and propped up lovingly, already connected, but not connected to wherever the focus has been. And this is important and it's significant. We can actually swap this. There have been people who need to know that they have someone in the physical, okay? Now, why is this significant? Because that physical feeling is there for a reason. Physical desire to be touched and be together actually nurtures you. It is a part of who you are. But it can't just be just anyone. You have to connect with the higher part of your twin flame. And I don't just mean the astral specter that's been floating around or the ghost. You are actually in a part where you have to connect aspects of the subtle bodies. And we're having new relationships. So just to give you an idea, like what are these new relationships? New ways of relating to the body, new ways of relating to your multidimensional connections and aspects of yourself. New ways of understanding the cosmic being that you truly are, that you are beyond human, and that the human interactions are limited. They walk away. They leave. Everything starts to leave. And this makes it very lonely and it can be painful. But nothing compares to the abandonment that people have felt of being abandoned from other planets or timelines. So for the people that are coming together who have the genuine connection in the heart, whoever they are, that connection is there bearing you up through every cosmic galactic thing that you have ever experienced and that is actually a part of you now. So you draw on yourself. So what needs to be focused on is the proper integration of the higher aspect of the twin flame. That's what a lot of people don't understand. And I'll give you some other information. If you're feeling a heart pull, okay, the, you're not looking at this person, okay? They're nobody for you, really. They have, there won't even be a blip on the radar at some point. You focus on connecting to the true 5D part of you. You also have to be able to focus within on your body, the sensations of your body, and you're not picking up any devices. You are leaving those things behind because it doesn't mean that your twin flame needs a phone call from you or a text. That's not going to cut it at this point. Okay. Yes, it will make people feel a little good, but it's a frisson by comparison to the true heart communication. You will have telepathy breakdown. You'll have telepathic breakdowns with soulmates. And you need to ramp up your true heart communication. So in order to help you with that, I do have my book that is titled Twin Flame Ascension and Breath, book two, and I outline it in there for you, the things that you need to do in order to promote this between you two and bring the as above, so below together. So what else is this energy about? Yes, I have a board in my board, okay? So let me get this here lined up. Okay, so we're going to talk here about a few things. This energy, while we're in this retrograde, is actually the end of the past, the beginning of the Lion's Gate. Now, traditionally, the Lion's Gate is in August, but you're putting an end to the Palladian connections that you may have had, which include a lot of past stuff having to do with torture, stealing, stealing children, enslaving people, stealing their stuff, stealing our crystals, breaking our stargates, like all kinds of stuff happened. There were things that happened there 
And they're not to be perpetuated here on earth, even though they were perpetrated on earth. They're not going to continue. The ways of the past. How do you procreate? The expectations of breeding. The expectations of men. The expectations of women. And this is where people who have nationalities or ethnicities with relationship ties to India, Greece, Italy, and a majority of Asia, you're going to see big shakeups. Okay? You may not want or feel arranged marriages anymore. That's especially for both men and women. Women, you are not stepping into the place of being the second wife and, you know, just taking over where the first wife left off. You need romance. You need excitement. Being a twin flame and having the template of relationship from 5D means that it is a requirement to have those things because you cannot keep your body lit without it. It just doesn't happen. You wind up feeling like a, a, a flower that's withering on the vine. A lot of you already feel like this. Men, are you having something that feels like a midlife crisis? Are you having existential crises where you're saying, well, if I'm not going to do what I'm here for, I might as well exit. I mean, I don't understand what God wants from me. If these things are happening to you, hold tight. Please stay the course through June. Stay the course through the solstice because India, India and the Pallades, we have strong connections there from where these connections have been. So like we traditionally think of the Lion's Gate as being an energy portal that happens around August, and it does. But for those of you who are coming into um, unification this year and then subsequently physically living together, it's already starting for you, okay? All of those tensions, all of those tensions I'm talking about, pain, emotional pain, mental pain, abuses, negativity. So to give you an example, you could take any country in the world that has ever been invaded or had someone occupy it. What do people do? They start mingling with those people. Pretty soon you have, you know, whole different culture and consciousness. And yet what do people do with their emotions? It's been shoved down. Where does it get shoved down? It can't stay in your bodies anymore. Your heart has to be clear. Your body has to be clear. And you're becoming new. Because you're not taking any of this garbage into your twin flame union. If you're a twin couple together, you'll still go through it. You're going to have some of the metaphysical experiences that other people do have. You will have your frustrations with this process. You will wonder what's going on. You might have a crisis, health crisis, crisis of faith, midlife crisis, existential crisis. A crisis is a crisis. Don't let it get to a crisis fever pitch without reaching out for some help. I am here to help with this. I am here to help you move from being highly intellectual. You cannot intellectualize this. So I saw something recently that had to do with you know, like remembering who you are, okay? Are you the queen of cards? Are you the queen of crystals? Are you the queen of magic wands? Or are you the goddess of love? Remember who you are. Are you the god of love? Or are you the god of guns? Or are you the god of alcohol? Are you the goddess of marijuana? Uh, no, you're the goddess of love. You're the god of love. You are embodying love. You are the ones who can embody love. Remember that, okay? Pay attention to who you are. So when these relationship patterns come up with people, okay? Gosh, my family's all on me to get married. And I just don't really know. I, I just don't know. Well, I'm an eligible suitor. Yes, you check all the boxes. Yes, you do. You've got things going for you, but I feel absolutely no passion. 
It's all right. You'll learn to love me. We'll learn to love each other. And the bottom line for Twin Flames is it's not something you can learn. You'll wind up feeling like brother and sister or father and daughter or mother and son or business partners. That's how those things wind up being, even if it has not been arranged by your parents. Let's talk a little bit about Asia, okay? There's certain tensions coming out now. A lot of cultures here are some of the most ancient ones in the world simply because those were some of the areas that were populated and not damaged like other areas were, okay? Nukes have been blown up on this earth several times, okay? And some of that has been in the ancient past and some of it's been very recent. And I'm not personally happy about it, but it is a fact. However, we are clearing a lot of these tensions. May not look like it on the surface, but these are not bad marriages of people getting into bed with each other anymore. Or here, or here, or here, okay? I don't mean to single out any particular country. However, these are the countries that are probably most affected. If you have Greek origins in you, you have Greek blood, and you Greek people, you know what I'm talking about. I love you. I love all you Greek men and women. I love all you Indian men and women. I love all you Italian men and women and Sicilian men and women. I love all you. We won't. There's so many countries. Korea, Japan. India is a part of it. But India is a little bit separate from some of the other areas. Japan, Korea, China. Some of the other countries, like Nepal, like there's been a lot of strife and struggle with a lot of countries. I know I'm missing some. Please forgive me for not enumerating everyone. It's not personal. It's just to keep this moving along here. So what do you do when you have all of this clan energy? You've got a clan here. You've got a clan here. You've got a tribe here. You've got a tribe here. You've got a religion you stay within, okay? And there's expectations of you and all eyes are on you, okay? And you don't want to displease anyone. You don't want to displease your mom just before Mother's Day especially. And what do you have? How do you have these new relationships? Well, some of it is coming through the younger generation. Here in Chicago, who do we have? We got BTS coming in. They're doing a concert. And you have the juxtaposition of the leader of North Korea and you've got the youth and vitality of South Korea. This seems to happen a lot with a lot of countries where the North and the South are somehow different. It's in the United States, it's in Germany, it's in Italy, it's in India. Part of it is the terrain, part of it is the peoples themselves. Sometimes it's the weather. So for whatever the reason is, you have the juxtaposition of different consciousness and mindsets and emotional states of being. The younger generations are much more amenable to this because they're entering into their new lives and it's, there's a newness about it for them. They're much more open to it. Children are much more open to a lot of this. Certain aspects of older generations might find that they have to divest themselves of a lot more than they bargained for. And either way, that is where I'm still here to help. So what does this have to do with? It has to do with releasing your old fifth dimensional connections, releasing cosmic soulmates, your cosmic karma, getting your stuff back, getting rid of the negativity, being in love again, and getting to where you need to be, being romantic. Now, I know that there's a lot of talk about this subject, and people are like, is this a twin flame concept? Is it bogus? It has more to do with your body than you may realize. That's how you first knew. You first knew because of how your body felt. You know things through your body. 
But what a lot of people do is they engage the mind. And that part is a part of the process because as your mind breaks down the mental connections to the past, you'll have all kinds of things stream through it. I'm here to help you get focused on your body, on the new template, because it is actually so brand new that a lot of people will hit this dead end, just like I'm depicting here in this diorama. She feels like she's up against the wall, okay? And if she knew how to get up there, she could make a connection. But instead, she's feeling the wall, or he is feeling the wall, and starting to look at the past. Because certainly the old masculine will carry me. But no, there is a new aspect of the masculine and feminine that needs to come in and connect. And you can't do that unless you actually work with your body. So, these countries have all had a lot of war. They've had earthquakes. They've had, you know, as they say, with every avalanche, it starts with one snowflake. You get one extra snowflake. Okay. But everybody here has had some kind of struggle or strife. So I want to I want to just show. Okay, so what I have here are some things that I wrote down. Do you or your twin flame have a stubborn refusal to let go? Now, where that pertains to the physical life, is there a struggle to let go of a relationship, a place? Do you feel the tension and a weirdly weird pull making your twin let it be known through your body that they need help with something. Probably. Have you had one of those weird migraine headaches? Have you had uh, tension around the rib cage here? You know, where you feel like everything is just squeezing you. Are you feeling overwhelmed? Are you feeling all of your timelines collapse in with each other? Well, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Your car is going to stall out. And you'll go into neutral and you'll be like, woo, woo, but you won't be able to move forward until you start to let go of certain things. That stalling out sometimes happens with just a day in bed. It could be where things just don't go your way and you throw up your hands and you say, I don't know what's happening. There will be breakdowns in communications because we are lifting off and we are not going to sustain things at an old level anymore. With that goes elevating. So, you know, be aware that this can bring about some very exhausting energy, spiteful energy. Do you want to get back at people? You're going to find that people are very sensitive. Even people that are not awakened. But the good news is there's a bit of a softening effect here. When people get sensitive... They start to notice themselves. They notice their part in things. They notice what they're doing to you. They feel again. That's the biggest thing. Because a lot of people have not been able to feel. Mental and emotional and physical exhaustion. Do you know what this has to do with? Because it has to do with body parts that are completely getting rid of an entire dimension's worth of stuff. You're also in a time compression. You're being squeezed through. You're being single filed into a direction at the same time that you're sort of maybe trying to tread water. It, there's so many aspects to this energy that are all valid. And it's a bit of like this, you know, like pole vault you up. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of when I had to get this water up and over into a different level and I took a broom and I shoved it and the water jumped and then got into that other level. And that's what some of these pushes are like. They push you with some really watery energy, which is emotions, and they push you to where the direction is that you need to go. Are you pessimistic about the future? The other thing you're going to get rid of, pay attention to this, ladies and gentlemen, because no matter what your sexual orientation is, 
okay, for lack of better words and phrasing, the dowager or the perpetual widow or the unmarried woman or the unmarriageable woman or the person who is a spinster in Old English language or are you a Mr. Nice Guy? Are you always the dutiful person? That's part of this energy that is leaving you. It's going to come right out of certain parts of you. And it may really throw you off. And you will get a pushback that you can't believe. Because you are here to be not only with your twin flame and the person that has your exact matching vibration, but you are also here to be romantic. Now, I recently asked some people, I said, have you ever had someone be romantic or tender with you? And they actually did this, which told me they were going up into their head to remember, and that's okay. They did that, and they said, you know, I'm not sure. There have been a couple of instances where I do remember that. And then it faded. Why does it fade? Because it's not the right person. It is not the person that can connect to your emotional body. They connected to your physical body, maybe your lower chakras, but they could not fill every tank on you. They could not fill every piece of your heart, nor could you fill theirs because you probably tried. You probably tried a few things. For twin flames, it goes beyond all of that. So in order to help you with this, I'm going to recommend something here. Stay the course through June. If you've been following my videos, you'll hear me say something. And what that is, is that, pay attention, every season, before the season is going to change, you don't give up. Every time before the season is going to change, focus on what you do want and not what you don't want. Be in the mode of receiving love. And I mean love of all kinds. And I don't mean actually 3D sex. I won't, I won't really say that, okay? Because that doesn't really fill the, the, doesn't always fill the heart. It just doesn't. And not everyone can actually, that's like a whole different subject that I'm going to talk about at some point. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's not talk about it here. What we're talking about is the end of the past, the beginning of the Lionsgate energy so that you can ditch the past, being punished for things, torture. Okay, how do people still get tortured or punished in some of these countries? It's pretty brutal. That's been very brutal for a lot of people. How do people get married in some of these countries? Sometimes you have no choice. So what I'm going to say about stay the course through June, what this means is on the other side of the June portal, there will be a resting time. So for those of you who have really, you know, put your nose to the grindstone, there will be some rest. For people that are blue rays, Many of you are going to come into your physical union. When we actually hit the lion's gate, it's going to start up all over again. So if you haven't gotten rid of things that you actually know you have to, what could those things be? Well, working on your pain and negativity, even if it's not you perpetuating it, if you feel it from people, if you're feeling things like a hostile environment, if you're feeling aggression from people, if people are being short-tempered with you, if things are overly sensitive, if you're wondering where the person is that, you know, you've been working for all along, you have to put your focus in a different direction and come and see me and come and join one of my classes or get one of my webinars. So my ebook too, which is the Twin Flame Ascension and breath helps you with that okay and the re I have a webinar called return of your life that has quite a bit of information in there and I also have another one called catching your spirit body which is actually 
where a lot of people are How do you know which one that you need? This is going to have information about your multidimensionality and for living in two levels, that's what this one is about. So if you're struggling with daily life, this is the one to get, especially if you have a family. Catching your spirit body. This tags into if your twin flame, your true twin flame, has addictions, if there have been traumas, if they have detached themselves somehow. So let me give you an example of like how do people detach themselves. Well, during a trauma, people try to erase themselves. They withdraw. They hunker down within themselves. They erase themselves. They blank themselves. They go up here. That's where the spirit won't stay in a situation. It doesn't stay in a war situation. It won't stay in a rape situation. It won't stay in a marriage where there's abuse. That part of you won't linger in situations. That doesn't make you a fragmented soul. But if you or your twin have had this, and a majority of people have had some stuff in their past lives, this will be very helpful for you. If you're not sure, write to me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com and check out my website. I will be having a class come up and I help people to get rid of their anxiety. I help people to shift out of living in a limited way and being free again. Um, I do that by intuiting. I do that with several means. We do body work. We do supplements. We do essential oils. We do breath work and we do communing. If you are not incorporating some of this, then you need to learn how because doing things in the fourth dimension, it's sort of like, you know, only a couple levels. You have, you're only like doing a couple levels. You're not addressing your multidimensionality. The astral version of a twin flame is not the fifth dimensional version. Someone having astral sex with you is not the fifth dimensional version of your twin flame. I know that there's a lot of confusion out there. And in my uh, books, I have referenced why this is so that you can focus where your connection truly is, which is in your heart and your high heart connections. Those will not steer you wrong. So if you're getting lost in a sea of readings out there and you're saying, well, what are the readers saying? Okay, time to focus it right here and understand that the connection, the eternal connection has never left you. It's there. It just maybe needs some of the layers off. And that's okay because I'm able to help you with that. We'll talk more about relationships because people find that relationship patterns are really hard to let go of. You know, perhaps if I made you jealous, you would pay attention to me. Maybe you should know what it's like. Maybe I'll go date someone. And if this isn't the person, believe me, they're going to be oblivious. If it is your twin, aspects of jealousy and drama won't live inside you because that's going to be a moot point. You will get absolutely nowhere with that because that's dualistic. Your bodies won't hold jealousy. It won't hold anger against each other. You just won't hold things against each other. That is the difference between soulmates and twin flames. That's one of multiple differences is that with the soulmate, you can still put a wall up. And that's what people feel. They feel those walls. With your twin flame, everything dissolves and becomes very transparent. And maybe you didn't meet that person yet. And that's okay. But if you have met that person, find out how to deepen it. Because, yeah, real physical touch, real physical togetherness, romance is what you're here for. We've always been romantic with each other. We're the ones that people write songs about. We write our own songs and poetry about each other. Your twin is your muse. And, yes, you are the god of love and the goddess of love. And so is your twin flame. So thanks so much for watching. The links are below. Um, I would also suggest a causal body session or a spirit chat. 
Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you to everyone who is subscribing. And I will be back with more. So thank you very much.